Hey, what's up guys? It's Luke and you're watching my channel, Watch Stuff with Luke. Welcome, thanks for being here. It's Christmas week, so I have my Christmassy shirt on and I am all ready to watch Star Trek Discovery. The last couple ex episodes were about Giorgio and she's gone now. She went into the Guardian of Forever and I'm guessing she's going to her own spin-off show about Section 31, which is long been rumored and people are talking about it a lot so I'm not really worried about Michelle Yeoh I think we'll see her again so if you really like Michelle Yeoh I don't think you're gonna be missing her for too long because she will be back and I watched an interview with her on the ready room which happens after you know the show and from what I hear from her it sounds like she will be back and she really enjoys the character of Giorgio and playing her but we're here now and we're still trying to figure out what's going on with the burn and we've been just slowly ever so slowly creeping towards hopefully its conclusion but i have no idea so this episode i am i actually i'm puzzled because two episodes ago before the two-parter i had no idea what it was going to be about at all and guess what? Same thing today. No clue what this episode's gonna be like. So, let's just go ahead, get the headphones on. Where are the headphones today? Oh. I haven't even unwrapped them yet. Clean the room, that's what happens when you clean the room. You don't have what you need. All right, let's get these headphones on. Let's go. Oh, right where we left off. What? He's You're back? That? Is that Gray? Oh. Gray's here? Gray's back? You're lucky that we are at a memorial <clears throat> service or I'd be giving you a piece of my mind. Stamets is so understanding of them. The Kiev, there's a life sign. What? Someone... It's been like a hundred years though, right? Child. What child? Those marks on Dr. Issa's head. Saru's been withholding some information. She was pregnant. Well, good thing it only takes like 30 seconds to get there with Discovery. This is secondary in oh, her hair is long. Nielsen's working on it. He's gonna show his worthiness, huh? This is a good way to do it. Book. Book. Life. That can't be good. I got the life sign. Well, he certainly risked his life to get that information and get them in there. I'm reading that there is dilithium dispersed throughout this entire planet. I think we may have just found the source of the burn. Ooh, the source of the burn, this planet. While I'm gone, my number one, it's until he will be in charge. <laughs> Admiral Vance is like... Mm -hmm. Aren't you an ensign? Kavanaugh. Soon after you left, we received word that the chain were conducting military exercises nearby. Oh, we can jump there immediately. Uh, Sirena, hello. Look out. <laughs> Saru's like, oh, my home is in danger. I gotta go there. Oh, there's a person here. I gotta go there. I'm not sure he can be objective. You're not sure Saru can be objective? Well, that's true, but Michael, sometimes you haven't been the most objective. Well, you know, it's like my grandma Adele always used to say, um, until you've flown a starship into a flaming nebula and gotten everyone out alive, you haven't lived. So. Oh, she used to say that. <laughs> you can do it, Tilly. You belong in that chair, Tilly. Hey, she's Killy in the other universe, so the, the ability is there. And how is she an ensign and Captain Killy's a captain? I mean, they're like the same, right? That's crazy. Coordinates for the Kiev are locked in, Captain. <sighs> the old alert sign. Oh, is, was that always there? Did I just not notice notice it? You have to come. It's so nice they don't have to go to the transporter room anymore. Reese. What is this, Little Red Riding Hood? What is she wearing? You're Bajoran. What? Saru? He's like a cockroach. He's human. 
ho, 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 ho. You're human. You don't have to put the makeup on. This is interesting. And they're wearing clothes like from the Gap. Looks like a video game. We are not from any program. Ooh. That scared me. I understand. This is creepy. Long range sensors have picked up a ship approaching. Oh no. Yeah, yes, we are the anticipation. We have come to rescue the child. <laughs> That's all they had to say. Creepy vibes. Creepy sounds. Oh. Whoa. Oh, it's that one lady, huh? That green lady? Oh, this is the kid. The other hollow. The human. The human. It's been a long time since I encountered a new program. All right. <laughs> Let's Michael. talk about. I wonder if you might remember a time with your family before the harvesting environment. When Michael's you were digging a ship, little deep perhaps? with these questions. Computer, reset parameters. Hmm. Nice try, Michael. <clears throat> and the radiation is getting to her. But he's been in the radiation for so long. Why is he seemingly unaffected? Wow, good looking effects in this show, in, in this episode. And this is a very imaginative place. I, I don't think I would have imagined having something like this in an episode. It's interesting. It's not just a human defense mechanism, it's galactic. Ouch! Don't test me, Red. No! 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 Adira's gonna do something. Adira's gonna do something. Where's he going? That was a nice song. Holy moly. He caused the burn. This kid wow. caused the burn. Bodies adapt. What? Whatever Tilly needs, I will be there for her. Are we losing Saru in this episode? Captain. Are we losing Culver too? No one should experience that. Everything's Dara? gone to hell. I'm beaming down. What is going on here? Is this going to be a two-parter? They're gone. Well, well, things are ramping up for Discovery, aren't they? Shoot, I did not expect this to happen. We've had all these self-contained shows in Discovery, and then we get last week's two-parter. <clears throat> which I knew was a two-parter the last week and the week before. Didn't think this was going to be a multi-parter, but it looks like that's how the season's going to wind down. So looks like we're in for quite an adventure. So, wow, there's not much to say about this episode. It's like uh, Empire Strikes Back. It all ends bad. Adira's went down there. Stamets looks like he's under mind control. Saru and Culber are gonna die? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really understand the things down there. I thought the guy, the kid, could not... Or he, he couldn't interact with the monster, or he had to face the monster. I felt, I felt like he faced the monster. But then it was like almost like a burn. So the Kelpians are the ones that caused the burn. Hmm with this dilithium planet. But how did it go through all of, like, the galaxy? How did that even happen? So, interesting that the connection to Saru is his race caused the burn. That's gotta suck. Anyways, this was pretty cool. I think it's ramping up, but man, ending on a cliffhanger, I hate ending on cliffhangers, because I wanna know what happens. Just gonna have to wait. Thanks for watching with me, and we're gonna wait together. I'll see you next time. Cause all you gotta smash like, subscribe.